Hi friends! For cotton, the most important feature after the length is the thinness. The average number of fibers in a section of the yarn of a certain number depends on the fiber's thinness. The number of the yarn increases while the thinness of the yarn increases, whereas the irregularity of the yarn decreases. Yarns made of thin fibers are of more strength and regularity, and they also have less amount of waste when compared to the yarns made of thick fibers. The thinness of the cotton fibers is determined in the Micronut device by the use of the airflow. Fibers with different thinness values result in different resistance values against the airflow. Since the thin fibers have more surface, they exhibit more resistance against the airflow. Hence, the amount of air passing through the thin fibers is less when compared to the thick fibers. The airflow method, which exploits the mentioned characteristics of the fibers, is used to determine the thinness. The thinness that is known as a quality for the cotton fiber is found by letting an amount of air flow within the fibers in a chamber and then noting the obtained value of the pressure. The thinness test on the HVI device is carried out by the fibrofine unit. The fibrofine is composed of a precise balance and the sampler chamber. Firstly, the thinness test is chosen on the computer connected to our device. Here, the cotton slot number is entered. Some amount of cotton, which has been taken as regards to the relevant standards, is cleared of foreign substance such as sand, soil and stem. Then, by means of the precise balance, it is weighed to be between 9.5 and 10.5 grams. After the weighing process, the sample is taken and placed into the sample chamber. At this time, 6 to 6.5 bars of air flow is passing through. The lid of the device will automatically be opened after the air flow has passed through the fibers of the cotton. After this operation has been completed, we can read the Micronair value on our device's computer.